Welcome to Old Forge, the self-proclaimed pizza capital of the world. They have a very distinctive style here. It certainly isn't a flat round pizza like New York, but it's definitely not a Sicilian pizza. This terminology here doesn't exist anywhere else. What we call a slice, we call a cut. What we call a pie, you guys call what? Tray. The people of Old Forge love their pizza. Welcome to Old Forge, the pizza, pizza capital. capital. Woo! Woo! Pizza, of the world. I met up with Mayor Bob Mulkerin. He really gave me a rundown of the pizza culture here. We're a small town, just under 9,000 residents. Our main street is just regular Main Street USA, but our main street is dotted with pizza places. For such a small town, we have just around 20 pizza places. Wow. Each different. Anybody in town, uh, you could put pizza in front of them and they could pretty much tell you where it's from, no the kidding. difference. There's obviously a pizza culture here that's strong. How did it get to that point? This is a coal mining region. When the coal miners came out of the mines, there was a lot of corner bars. One corner bar, Grandma Gigerelli, she used a rectangular dough with tomato and threw some cheese on there. And before you knew it, everybody wanted some. So Grandma pie. That's all it was, it was grandma pie. Was, you know, as mayor, I can't really say which my favorite is, but I can say I like them all. It's a great little town with uh, great people and great pizza. So I can't wait to kind of go check it out, try some of the pizzas and, you know, see what Old Forge is all about. I'm starting at Arcaro and Janelle with Angelo, the owner. My first taste of Old Forge pizza, I can't wait to see what it's all about. Every place in town has been around for a while, probably well over 50 years that they've been here. Our family has been here 55 years, since 1962. Old Forge has its own type of pizza. Well, that was like a hidden secret. It took a long time to get it out. The dough is a little different. It's a little thicker, but it's definitely lighter. I don't know how many pizza places in Old Forge, but you can't go wrong anywhere. What do we got over here now? Traditional red, that's a half a tray. Okay. And this is our white pizza, which is a stuffed pizza. Mm -hmm. Cheese in the middle. These are your classics. These are, you can exactly. find these two and everyone in the pizzeria is in Old Absolutely. Forge. Absolutely. You can find variations of pizza and different toppings and whatever, but you know, when in doubt, go to the basics. Well, usually I, I'm trying to be polite, so I don't want to rip it, you know what I mean, with my hands. Don't want to rip it. I don't see it. There you go. It's got like a nice lightness to it. It's like a little flaky. It's got some nice black pepper. It's delicious. The bottom of it is crispy. See, and it's cheesy. That's the key. Mm -hmm. We blend our cheese together with mozzarella, a drop of American, and a, we use a lot of a white cheddar. You can taste the dough is really fresh. The cheese blend is it's different than what I'm used to. I have pizza in my mouth right now. I can't stop eating. It was really, really good. I eat pizza every day. Every day. And I try to eat it every night, too, if I could. <laughs> Just finished up at Arcaro and Janelle's, and we're gonna take a long walk across the street to Ravello's to meet Pat, uh, another classic pizzeria here in Old Forge. We've been here since 1967. My parents bought the place then. We use everything that we used 50 years ago, we use today. And it doesn't matter if the cheese prices go up, we still have to stick with that cheese. So basically, it's kind of carrying out the traditions of your folks and what they taught you. Yeah, exactly. I think that's what uh, kept us here 50 years. So what would you say is Ravello's Pizza. What's your style of pizza here? Um, our red pizza is by far our best seller. Okay. This is the dough that we make every morning. Yep. All right, getting here at six. We already uh, made a shell out of it. All right, we put some um, sauce on it. Mm -hmm. So that first layer of sauce kind of cooks in and it, it reduces a little. It's almost like right. a tomato pizza. It gets a little exactly. concentrated. Yep. The cheese. Uh, I'm going to use this hand as a guide. Gotcha. All right. Gotcha. Put that right, right over the crust. We stay with the same blend. We use uh, American, we use a cheddar, mm -hmm. and we also use a, uh, another kind of cheddar. That's it, goes in the oven, and they usually bake anywhere from like 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, great. And all right, let the spoon do the work, so hopefully I don't screw this one up. So far, so good. Oh, that looks you know? good, Frank. I think uh, I just don't want to mess it up. That looks good. That looks great, great, buddy. Pop it right in. Put it in there. You're going to make somebody happy with that, buddy. Uh, thank you so much. Great. Man. Here's some sausage and meatballs here. Salute. Mm. It's a square pizza, but it's still light. The sausage is just delicious. A double crust white. You have one pizza on the bottom, some cheese in the middle. Right. Uh, salt, pepper. There's rosemary, garlic, mm. onions. Well, who coined the phrase the pizza capital of the world? 
You know, I know you guys have been noted. Right. Yeah, that. it's self-proclaimed Pizza Capital of the World. <laughs> and I'll tell you, I think it started on a t-shirt and, and it stuck. Yeah. And um, and it, it fits. I think it's just a, a good bunch of good pizza in one town that everybody comes to. Hey, Sal, how are you? Hi, fine. Frank Pinello. Hi, Frank. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Pleasure to meet you. Now I'm meeting with Sal Luzio, the town historian. He lives, eats, and breeds Old Forge Pizza. He's going to tell me more about the community here and how pizza brings everyone together. What does pizza mean to this town? Pizza is probably our moniker, right. but then there are other people, other things that help us to be Old Forge. We've had many uh, successful people come out of this town. Uh, there was one uh, doctor who worked with Dr. Salk on the Salk vaccine. Uh, the voice of Mission Control, Glenn Lunny, uh, Dr. Umbe Birdie did some important research. If you go on the map of Lackawanna County, uh -huh. that pinpoint yeah. is there and it tells you where the pizza capital. No kidding. On any given night, you'll find any of the owners in other, other cafes. Right. Boy, oh boy. This dough is really fresh. Do you eat a lot of pizza? Every day, absolutely. Yeah, I like trying all the different pizzas. It's pretty unique. Once you get past the dough and you have all these different families with their own recipes, that's where the similarity ends. Yeah, it's the same as a painting. If you have a plain canvas and you have a Monet and you have a Michelangelo and you have a Picasso, they're all paintings, but they're all different. And in a sort of a way, it's the same with the pizza. So it seems to be like community is the one thing that's really strong here in yes. Old Forge. And even though there's a bunch of these different pizza places and pizzerias, but there's not like a competition between these pizzerias. No. It's oh, more no. of a camaraderie. Up near me, Mary Lou's Pizza, it's strictly a takeout place. But when she needs to ship pizza, she'll call Angelo, and Angelo will ship the pizza for her. That's amazing. You know, and they help one another. This is a broccoli. This is for uh, Tommy. I lived in Old Forge all my life. In 2001, we opened Mary Lou's. My mom made it every, every other Friday when we couldn't eat uh, meat on Friday. And she made it from scratch. If there's anything we need, somebody else will help us. I'm not just saying that, we, we really do get along. This was DeVita's back in the 50s, and now it's Cafe Rinaldi's run by the brothers and their uncle and aunts. You ready? Come on, we're gonna do a pizza. That's good, that's good, now you're good. Just celebrated our 20th year in business. There's so much history, there's so much tradition to it. The way Old Forge drives off all the restaurants and businesses, Old Forge Pizza, that's what really keeps it going. Yes, I did just grab on the news. <laughs> you know, somebody will get out of a car and say, uh, you know, we just saw this on our GPS and it says there's good pizza here. Where should we go? And we go like, <laughs> Try them all. <laughs> the pizza in Old Forge is tied to the town's coal mining roots. Just like in New Haven or New York, workers gravitated towards pizza. It's an inexpensive food that's easily enjoyed on the go or at a bar. And not a lot has changed since the early days. The people here love their pizza, and it's really what brings them together. In New York, I'm used to people being very personal about their pizzerias. But here in Old Forge, the community supports all the places. Whether it's owners going to someone else's pizzeria, or the locals hitting up multiple spots in one week. Old Forge is a town fueled by pizza. 